the most important part of this story is not the concept of time value to people, which people who work in hourly wages can't always think about. It's true that they are being paid to do two things in their retail establishment. They're being paid to sell vendor products and have knowledge of them so that they're a good customer service agent for their overall general name of their store. They are also being paid for the time of that, sort of. But maybe what those companies have decided to do is to pay them for their knowledge. So they're paying a manager for his knowledge of where things are located in a store. They're paying an hourly wage to an employee who's supposed to know what the store carries, whether or not they're an expert in everything that they sell. So the low wage is for someone who can simply direct traffic in a store. The higher wage is to someone who's supposed to know more about the value of those products to the person who wants to buy them. It is true most of us can Google something right on the website in a store and look it up and find it and whether or not they have it. And a lot of times people do that before they even get to the store so their time value has increased when they shop in a store because they've already done the research and they're pretty confident that that store carries the product they're looking for. Most employees in a corporation don't think about what they're being paid for. At the same time, they don't think about the time value of a customer who is hunting in a store either with the desire to have assistance or with a non-desire to be paid attention to at all. Everyone has a different way that they go about shopping. There are some people like me who literally know exactly what they're looking for, know exactly pretty much where to find it because I've been there a million times doing that over the course of many years purchasing that and they don't have to be shopped in any way. How a person looks is usually what people are reading today and most of the time they get it wrong. The young girl did make a good observation in her first experience with that old homeless man, that old traveling man, that old man working on putting his life back together after cybercrime, identity theft, and fraud that she would have never, ever in a million years believed that he was that, I suppose, intelligent, might have been what she said, but that seasoned in life. And she always comments on how much she's learning from the man, not only in terms of spirituality, but in terms of her work. But then she makes some innocent mistakes. Those innocent mistakes are, I've got a friend who teaches this or does this and makes paltry money with it, so I can learn that and learn more about this from her and what she just did was devalue a man's entire professional life. Basically trying to imply that a 20 year old who hasn't even graduated college and might not ever graduate college according to her has a better understanding of a marketing world than a man who's worked in it for 30 plus years of his life. Actually making a living, paying for a wife, a son, a town home in a very affluent and influential community at a pretty paltry, not at all, wage.